Golden Gate Park has it all. At more than 1,000 acres, the site has plenty of walking paths, its own blend of wildlife, and one of the largest lakes in San Francisco. As big as it is, there's a lot in the park that goes overlooked. Here are eight hidden gems that should be on your radar. One, the Dutch windmills. These two imposing structures stand at the western edge of the park. They were built in the 1900s and used to irrigate the park before modern technology made them obsolete. Two, the bison paddock. Located along JFK Drive, this fenced off area holds American bison. They were first introduced to the park in the 1890s, but the ones seen today are descendants of bison given to then mayor Dianne Feinstein in 1984. Three, the casting ponds and anglers lodge. If you ever want to learn fly fishing, this is the place to do it. Established in 1938, the casting pond is where generations of anglers have been taught. They even have the pictures to prove it. Number four, Stowe Lake. This is the second largest body of water in San Francisco and is home to all sorts of wildlife. In addition to the Huntington Falls, paddle boats, and Chinese Pavilion, the lake is also said to be haunted. Five, Gravity Hill. Yes, your eyes are deceiving you. Although it looks like the stream is flowing upwards, it isn't. It's an optical illusion that has piqued the interest of park goers for decades. Six, Shakespeare Garden. Tucked behind an iron gate, this park gem features a statue of the bard and flowers inspired by the author's own words. Seven, the Sharon Art Studio. The church-like structure has survived earthquakes and fires. Now it's San Francisco's largest public art center. Number eight, the carousel. This is a favorite for the kiddies. It was built in 1914 and was part of the 1939 World's Fair on Treasure Island. The carousel has found a permanent home at Golden Gate Park and thrills the young and old alike.